right here about an hour south of Nashville, Tennessee. About two hours ago, we got an emergency call from the local authorities out here in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and that there were monkeys on the scene. It's our understanding at this point in time that one of the monkeys has been shot by the local authorities, but we are here to assist the authorities in safely removing these monkeys. Housing, the conditions are deplorable. I feel deplorable. I am the animal control director and when I see an animal pacing its kennel and self-mutilating by biting it itself, they appeared stressed. In the process, before I could build a case, we had this incident this morning. There was a lady attacked and then there was a sheriff's deputy that was bitten. There was a history with these animals. There's no enrichment. There's no, there's no environmental enrichment. There's, there's, it's dirty. It's, they're in solitary confinement. That's all pretty much not okay. What's he doing? Banging. Yes. You want something? It's a cruelty case. There's no question about it. Okay. We'll be documenting. So I was not off target. No, you well, were way on something. target. Okay. In fact, if you hadn't opened up those doors and aired it out, I would have opened it, seen it, closed it, and asked for hazmat to come out and do a reading because those the air quality is, is bad. These monkeys are living in deplorable conditions, conditions that are clear violations of the anti-cruelty code here in the state of Tennessee. These monkeys are, are very aggressive obviously they've been living in poor conditions and they're not real happy about that so and they're fairly large we've got our vet teams coming out we're going to have to sedate them prior to transport this is a telazol it is a sedative that within about three to four minutes of the monkey getting it he will be pretty much asleep Can you get the length of that? Got it. Mark the time. Be careful, this monkey is a little agitated. There we go. Perfect. Now we'd like to come in and do a physical on it. We prefer his head towards the door and just laying on his side. Now, you do want to cable tie that door. take place then we're going to go in and get him then we'll have the other two and hopefully we'll be out here within the hour he's got an ulcer on this yeah over here yeah he is definitely underweight wired shut and it's rusted stuck together which means this monkey never leaves his cage monkey here that's sedated. Everybody's safe. One of them um, we had to put on oxygen, but it looks like she, she's going to be just fine. We're going to get out of here and get back to the fairgrounds where we have our emergency shelter set up.
very happy I couldn't be happier the monkeys didn't get hurt it was a long tedious process but we accomplished what we wanted this successful rescue was made possible through the collaboration of many of our partners We are collectively giving these macaques the opportunity to live as monkeys for the very first time.